good y'all, Rudd's here. Soap review this evening. Shermonic Delft Dongerslag. I believe this means thunderclap. It's a uh, Dutch based artisan. I was uh, fortunate enough to meet Mr. Michael Friedberg uh, this past weekend for a drink and he generously piffed the soap to me for, uh, for me to try and review for y'all. So a little bit about this uh, company based out of the Netherlands. Um, I think they've been around for about six or eight months now. And a quick Google search showed no uh, U.S. retailers as yet, but I did see some European retailers as well as uh, the Stray Whisker out of Australia. Put a link below to the Stray Whisker if you're uh, interested in searching out and maybe potentially buying this soap. All right, so the uh, scent on Thunderclap is a blend of amber, lavender, vanilla, musk, along with tonka and clary sage. Uh, the resulting accord is very deep, complex, kind of a warming scent and it's it's mid strong both off of the uh, container remains as such throughout the uh, lather and shave and similarly scented soaps available in the market are soap commander devotion as well as sterling soap co almost heaven All right, let's talk about the uh, performance of this soap. This is a thirsty vegan soap with good metrics all around. As you can see from the uh, lather, it's very voluminous and fluffy. It has good slickness and the post shave is really nice on this soap. While this isn't a tier one vegan like uh, Katie's Bubbles or Ariane and Evans, I would put it in that next category down with uh, vegan bases such as K Shave Works or Soap Commander. All right, we're back. Final thoughts. Shermanic Delft Dongerslag, also known as Thunderclap. Very good soap. Um, <clears throat> it occurred to me during the shave, this, this smells a lot to me like potting clay or modeling clay. It, uh, it's got a really cool scent to it. It's going to pair very well with uh, La Vanille, which I've picked out to go with it tonight. Definitely recommend you check this out. I had a good head and face shave. Um, I've been trying out an SE razor on my head and, and this protected me well as I uh, move through the learning curve on it. As always, thumbs up the video if you like it. Comment below if you have anything to say. And if you haven't already subscribed, please do so. See ya.